I kind of see artists either like make a point of something or making as a thing as a means to, as an escape. And even though I I do tap into sort of the two at times, I'm probably more of the latter in the same in the sense of like building some kind of world of my own outside of the the one we're in now, in a way, through sound and other things. The vast majority of my music is abstract or if there is a bit of a point, there's like a, there's a vagueness, if you will. Um, there's always something that has a meaning, even if it's hidden or subtle, buried down there. There's always like a fit associations and familiarity, and like familiar things in my music. If you're doing a, a film shot in the 1960s, you're not gonna in like a living room. You're not going to um have the whole room decked out in 1960s stuff you're going to be there's going to be things from the 30s or the 19th century even maybe even further back so it's kind of a similar thing like we're all surrounded by things that are with us now and all the time before um and it's i find it exciting it's kind of taking those things through my own lens and then making something from that in some way there's a thing I'm working on with a, a friend in over the Netherlands where I'm using like an old vintage camera for the visual elements, things like that. Um, but I haven't dabbled too much with historical instruments, but I do like historical instruments and like rehousing them, you know, because they have a different set of traditions to um, like a lot of the kind of commonly used classical instruments that we I like to compose, but then I kind of really relish when we're wo I'm workshopping with someone, getting to know the person, even if outside of music, just kind of knowing what they like to, what who they are. That kind of helps sometimes, sort of subconsciously. I don't really see performers as like the executioner because also for me, a piece is like an artistic vision, but then in, in sort of the world of music, we have to have people, there are people who need to kind of help bring that to life. And so having their involvement actively, I believe always kind of brings a piece to another level. and portrait projections it's this thing about this kind of little comment about covid with the zoom meeting but then it's also this environmental piece in a way with the kind of the use of the wasted um plastic bottles and canisters um and and the stock footage but then it's also maybe like a comment on isolation if you will because everyone's you know it's just these different things together There was almost like no musical activity apart from like online things. It was an opportunity just to really push myself uh, and just dip it, dip my toes into different ideas and themes and subject matters. I mean, I do like a lot of minimalism or kind of post minimalism or kind of things that tap into that. I've always, I think, for a long time as a listener, as a fan, as a composer, as a performer, I've always been attracted to kind of more the music that's kind of more um, either stripped down or just focused. Um, there's a lot that, and that's a lot of different things. It's not just kind of contemporary classical minimalism or 
other forms like Vondel Visor or, or Drone. You know, even, there's this thing in popular music. I always was attracted to kind of a thing called post-punk, where essentially they took like, the kind of stripped down elements of punk, but then kind of re- re- changed it and took it into a new direction. It's, it's hard with like thinking of like dream projects because I always kind of I'm kind of more of a person who reacts to the thing in front of them in some way. Like I kind of need almost like I'm I kind of need like a wall to bounce off in a way. So like um, knowing like the the person or the instrumentation or the nature of the project or some initial ideas always kind of brings about many more ideas. Um, but I, de- I, de- I definitely would like to write for like a, a medium to large ensemble um, again, as it has been as a kind of last few years have been more focused on smaller chamber groups and soloists. So it'd be nice to write for a larger, a slightly larger ensemble, hopefully amplified maybe. Um, yeah, just to sort of see what I can do now with maybe a bit of time has passed and maybe gain some new experiences and see what I would do with a larger uh, instrumental forces.